Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ruby from Scratch. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some basic data types in Ruby and basic data structures in Ruby. So what is a data type and a data structure? Well, it's the basic construct of, you know, representing any kind of information, right? So for example, if you want to put out someone's name or record someone's name, uh, you're going to need to, to use a, a string of characters, right? And in Ruby, that type of data is called a string. Or, you know, maybe you have a number, uh, you have someone's age and you need to divide it by whatever, or you need to add some age together or, you know, whatever it, it may be that you want to do with numbers, you can do that with uh, with Ruby and uh, with, with the data types, I mean. So let me just uh, illustrate that. So I'm going to go into interactive Ruby. So if you type IRB into your console, uh, it'll open up the Ruby console. And what you can do is you can do one plus one. Uh, so this is, we're just adding two integers together. So a number without any decimal. So like this is a float. This is an integer. So for example, I can do, uh, you know, one dot class, and it's going to give me fixed num. Yeah, well, in, in Ruby, it's called fixed num in any other programming language it's called integer. So let's try one dot o dot class. So this is a float. And let's say we have this one here, and we're going to do dot class. And it's a string. So as you can see here, these are basically some of the basic uh, data types we have. Um, and you can do all kinds of operations with it. So for example, my name is Zach Siri. So I can do Zach plus Siri. I can add strings together and it'll con like put them together just like that. Um, if you want to add a space between them, can you take a guess what I would do? So I can just do Zach plus some space. So this is just an empty string with a space in there. And then I can just do a plus and then Siri and I get my full name, right? Awesome. So uh, that's just some basic operations for you guys. Uh, I can count how many characters I have in my string. Um, so it's probably impossible for me to show you every command uh, here. So um, I recommend you guys check out the Ruby documentation. I'm going to post a link to them in the documentation in the, in the description below. Um, you know, try them out. That's the best way I can I can show you uh, you know, to, to learn Ruby. Um, so I'm going to move on here. I'm going to go over to talk about arrays and hashes, uh, something a little bit more interesting. And I think uh, things are going to be a little bit more clear for you guys. All right. So here we have an array. So array is represented by uh, two square brackets, opening, closing. So if I do dot class, if you don't understand what dot class means, don't worry about it just yet, right? I'm just showing you how, what, how they're represented in the Ruby programming language. Don't worry about the dot class method just yet. Don't worry about the word word method just yet. Just, you know, read the outputs and try to understand as much as as you can about what I'm saying here. So what is an array? An array is a, a collection of something. It's a, a list. You could think of it as a list, a grocery list. Actually, let's go ahead and build a grocery list, right? So, all right, so your wife or your mom tells you, go and buy some grocery. So you're going to say milk, right? So you got to get a, a bottle of milk. What are you going to get? Eggs and you're going to get bread, right? Those are the three most common things you want to get at a grocery store. So um, here we have an array of grocery items that are rep represented by strings, right? That's what we have over here, milk, eggs, and bread. So um, what else can we do? Can we put numbers in an array? Sure, we can. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, right? Um, so we have numbers in an array, so a list of numbers. So how do we go back and reference these array, these, these arrays, right? So one thing we can do is we can put them into a variable. So for example, I have a list of numbers equals, so one, two, four, six, eight, right? Um, now, because I put that array in a variable called list of numbers, I can call them again, right? So how would I access the number four now? Now, arrays are based on index, uh, based on index zeros, right? So um, the first element is represented by the index zero. So for example, let me illustrate. So list of numbers. So if I want to get the first element, I would need to put zero in there. So this would output the number one, right? Just like that. So if I put one in there, it's going to output two, right? 
So don't get confused. So this element here is element zero. This is element one. This is element two, three, and element four, right? Uh, so that's just how arrays are represented in, in Ruby. Now, um, let me give you another example. So list of groceries equals milk, eggs, bread, at lowercase bread won't make a difference. So now I have a list of groceries. So what I can do is list of groceries. And then if I want to get the egg, I would just put the number one, right? And that would output eggs. So I hope that's clear uh, for arrays, right? Um, I'm not, I'm going to keep this video pretty basic. So the next data type I'm going to move on to is hashes. So what are hashes? Hashes are basically key value, right? They have a key and they have a value. Let me illustrate. So for example, if I want to represent a person, person equals name. So my name is Zach, right? My age is 29. And uh, my email is Zach at codemy.net. Don't spam me guys. Please don't. All right. So here we have a hash, right? A person who has a name Zach, who's age 29, who has an email of Zach at codemy.net. So how do we reference this information then? So for example, if we want to get the name of this person, I can do person and I can go into square brackets and then and get his name. This will output my name, right? And I can do the same thing uh, with the age. Yeah. So a hash allows us to define an attribute, right? Define a few, like more than one attribute. I mean, attributes that represents some, someone or something, right? It can even represent like a product, for example, product equals, you know, name, um, speakers, price. Uh, maybe we can make the, I, the, the price afloat. So it's maybe 150 dollars uh and uh what else i guess color would be white there you go so that product variable now represents that speaker so if again i can do name it's gonna output the speakers so i can mix and match these data types too um i can for example i can put an array uh i can put a ha a, a few hashes in an array so what if I have a bunch of, of, of persons? That's basically people, right? If I have a lot of people, I can put them all in an array. So for example, I do person one equals um, name Jack Sparrow age. I don't know. I don't know what his name, his age is. Uh, and then uh, maybe his email can be Jack at Pirates of the... Caribbean, I guess, dot com. So that's person one. Uh, let's say person two is uh, name Bruce Wayne. Age, again, I don't know what his age is. Email bat at man dot com. Yeah, that's so secretive, right? Okay, so... Um, Whoops, looks like I missed something there. Okay, you know what? Uh, I forgot to close this over here. Uh, so it's not going to work. I'm just going to control C that out. I'm going to try that again. So uh, I have to close the quotation mark over here. All right, so now I have person, person one, and person two. I, what I can do is I can put them all in an array. So I can call the area of people equals person, person one, person Two. Now I'm going to close that array. And now I have an array with three people inside, right? So it's like putting three people in a cage. Now I'm very honored that, you know, I'm a part of, of this group of people because they're pretty cool people. Okay, so how do we access each individual person in here? Well, if I want to access person underscore one, in this case, what I can do is people Right. So before I reveal it for you guys, I want to give you guys a few seconds to think about it. Right. So five. So how would I access person underscore one in this case? Right. Remember, this is zero. This is one. 
right? So what I can do is one. And then if I want to get the name of this person now, because when I do people uh, and then choose index number one, we're going to get Jack Sparrow, right? This hash over here. And if I want his name, I would do something like this, right? And then I get Jack Sparrow. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, try it out in your console and give it a shot. And if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, you know, leave them in the comments below. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Share the video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much.